Are you ready to do some calendar blocking with me? Hi there, my name is Evelyn Weiss. I'm a digital strategist, ads expert, and in this video, I show you how I take tasks from my to-do list and block them in my calendar so that I get more done as an entrepreneur. So we, before we jump right into my calendar, I want to make you aware that I, that I use a specific color coding system to visualize my time and to be able to optimize it. I also want to give you a little disclaimer about my unique situation. So I'm not only an entrepreneur, I'm also a single mama and I also have a little very lively beagle. Plus I don't run one, but actually two businesses. One, let's call it my cash flow business, is my digital marketing agency where I help mainly e-commerce businesses to grow their brand using Facebook ads. And then I have a second business, let's call it my passion business. This is a membership where I help coaches and course creators to skip years of trying to grow organically using funnels and Facebook ads. I currently have 95 members in that membership. So when we go through my calendar now, you will find that a lot of tasks that are on will be on your calendar will happen at completely different times. But um, you will find that you do very similar tasks, especially if you categorize them in my unique color coding system that I will introduce to you right now. Okay, so here you can see my week. Everything that's in this purple is me working in my business. So meeting with clients and doing actual client work. This is mainly for my agency and this is where I hop on you know, weekly check-ins with clients, I walk them through the campaigns, I show them the numbers, or I also go in and um, optimize the campaigns, or I brief my team on what to do next and I'm checking in with my team. The blue is me working on my business. So this is mainly me creating content and optimizing my funnels and my own ads. Everything that's in this blue grayish color is me working in and on the membership. So the, this purple color is mainly for my agency, so my cash flow business, while the membership is my passion business. And there are blurry lines between me working on the membership and me working in the membership because um, as you can see, I have multiple times a day. So twice a day, I'm checking in with my members in our members only Facebook group. And I will answer questions and I will also record videos for them. And those videos, for example, I then put sometimes in our members portal, I use it to refine the materials. So actually by working in the membership, I'm also working on the membership because by answering the questions of my members and by helping them and by being there for them, by reviewing the ad accounts, I'm also creating content for the membership. Then I have uh, this yellow color and this is self-development. So you can see twice a day I go for a walk with my son and my, and my dog. And during this time, I like to listen to something. I like to educate myself. Uh, this is usually in the morning when I'm like really fresh and I will memorize things very well. And in the afternoon, I dedicate this time to high quality thought. And I know this sounds a bit weird, but during this time, um, I try to have all my strategic thoughts around the business. I try to think about um, high quality content. I try to reflect upon concepts. I reflect upon the experiences that I have um, when running ads, what's working in a funnel, what's working for a member, where we had a breakthrough. And I try to put that in word and kind of in words and kind of grasp it so I can go ahead and I can create content around that later or I can go back home and in the evening when my son sleeps uh, optimize the funnel and work on that so this time is dedicated to high quality thought then this gray color is admin tasks so this is me cleaning up the flat this is me um, paying bills this is me making doctor's appointments for my little son so everything that keeps our uh, family running and then I have this important color. So for example, when I have to invoice clients and or when I have an important meeting, um, for example, with my lawyer. And then I have those, uh, then I have this green color for self-care. And this mainly is me meeting with my mentor and me taking a little bit time off. So let's look at that in a calendar. 
Okay, so now let's look how a typical day and how a typical week looks. So mainly most days look the same. We get up at seven in the morning. I get my, I feed my son, I get myself ready. I feed the dog, I drink a good cup of coffee and then we go for a walk and usually I educate myself. When we come back, my son sleeps usually because he falls asleep on the walk and then I get things done like putting out the garbage, uh, the dishwasher, making appointments, so all kind of life organizational things. Then he wakes up and we play a bit until it's time for lunch then we have lunch and after that usually he plays a little bit and that gives me space to check in with my members so then we go back to playing spending time and in the afternoon i go for a second walk and this is usually the walk where i have strategic thoughts and where i plan i often record myself so i make a video or i send myself a voice message just so i remember all the thoughts that i have and then in the evenings usually i work on the business or in the business. So you can see that uh, on Sunday, Monday and on Friday, I usually do some client work. And on Tuesday, Wednesday and Saturday, I work on the business, which is mainly content creation and optimizing the funnels. And when I say client work, it's mainly me briefing my team and checking in with my team if things are done. The only two days that are kind of exceptions are Mondays and Thursdays. So on Monday, I have help from my dad and he takes him from 9.30 to 5 in the afternoon and I can meet with clients and I can hop on client calls and um, with some of my key accounts, discuss things and next steps and results. So this is really important for me and this is a day where I basically work through. Then my son comes home, I feed him, um, we go bathtub and then I put him to sleep and then, and after that, I usually do some more client work. And then I check in with my members before going to sleep. And the other exception is Thursdays where I have my group coaching calls. So I have calls up until late in the night. And after I have one one-on-one -on -one client, which is a total exception, but I like to work with her. And um, then I pick up my son next day in the morning. And then we go back to our typical routine. So what I really love about the color coding system is that I just need to look at my calendar and I can see clearly that something is wrong. So although last month was the best month in my business that I had within the last two years, there's still so much work on the business and so much work, especially in my cash flow business and not on my passion business and so little self-care in my calendar. And that's very evident by looking at the colors. That it's not sustainable to operate like this is something that became very clear around Christmas time for me, especially when my son was sick and then I was sick. And I, I looked at the numbers and I was like, um, honestly, it doesn't make sense to work like that because I'm limiting my growth. So if I keep having my hours like this, I also don't allow, first of myself to recover and recharge and uh, be able to run it long term i don't want to uh, risk you know my health and maybe going into a burnout and the second thing is that yes uh, the agency is very profitable and, and i'm grateful for it but it's also limiting me in building on what i actually love and yeah so i, I was really hitting a ceiling with it so i let a good chunk of the agency clients go i only kept the clients that are key accounts um, that I love to work with or that are automized to a way that I really have very little effort with it. So going back to the calendar and to the color scheme, the goal is to have it as blue and as green as possible, working as much on the business as possible and having as much self-care as possible. So letting go of some of the agency clients was extremely helpful in that it frees up between seven to ten hours a week and i will split them i think half half into self-care and into working on the business before i forget it so the actual tasks from the to-do list i put in the appointment in here and then i just cancel them out from here so he, for my clients, there go all the things that we discussed need to be done until the next week. And for the membership, it's like when I have video ideas, okay, what do I need to record when they have specific questions that they need training on, then I all note it down in there and then I just 
go and then I do one after the other within that dedicated time frame. And that's also the way I make sure that the things actually get done. Because if you don't schedule them in, chances that you will get them done and get all of them done are very low. And it's also that sometimes, you know, if you don't plan those things out, new things come in and then you uh, don't think about what to prioritize and, and you just work on what is more enjoyable for you and then you risk not getting important tasks done or just uh, procrastinate on things that are important for you. One last quick tip. Every time before you put a task in your calendar, ask yourself, do I, does this really need to get done? Does it really need to get done by me or can I delegate it? Get, can I get someone else to do it? Um, and if both are no and it really is something that needs to be done and it needs to be done by you, only then put it in. All right, guys, so I hope this was helpful. Let me know what's the main color on your calendar and how would you shift col colors on your current calendar to improve your life and to improve your business. If this video was helpful for you, then consider giving it a thumbs up or subscribing to the channel. Bye.